I'm going to share with you today the content repurposing hack that will save you hours in your business. This is not your typical content repurposing advice. I'm not just going to tell you to copy paste the same thing across platforms. We're going to be going into how can you actually effectively repurpose your content today? What is a strategy that's actually going to make sense for you, actually going to get you results and actually save you time at the end of the day? I think content strategy is such an underutilized strategy in the online space. Just because a lot of service providers, we don't know how we can actually best utilize this for our business. We hear people talk about repurposing, but it just, you know, doesn't often make sense for us. And it feels like very much a copy paste of just, okay, take this post I posted three months ago, just throw it up again and just hope for the best essentially. Um, But I'm gonna be walking you through a content strategy for repurposing that really can still feel authentic and also still get you really great results and save you a lot of time in your business because we really just wanna make sure we're getting the maximum value out of the content we're creating. We don't want that really great post we created to just be a you know 24 hour life cycle on Instagram and then it's dead and then it's not getting us any more results from there. So we're gonna really focus on how can we get the most value out of the content you've already created without a whole lot more time being put into this as well. So content repurposing isn't just repost the same post to the same platform months later. It can also be used across different platforms and across different mediums as well. And I think that's where I see it being most effectively used when we're really transferring it across mediums there. So a great strategy to start with here in terms of your content repurposing is I want you to pick one anchor type of content. So what is going to be your main piece, the real anchor for everything? For me, for example, this is Instagram posts. So pick which one you are creating first. So what is the first piece of content you tend to create and the first piece that you tend to start with? And then what we're going to do with this is we're going to use this as an anchor and we're going to branch out to other mediums from this content essentially. So. As an example with this, mine would be Instagram posts is my anchor piece of content. That's the one that I create first. That's the one that I tend to be, you know, doing the new ideas for essentially. But what I will then do is I'll often, you know, create other posts from this, create other pieces of content from this, repurpose this essentially just in a different way that makes it really hard to actually see it's repurposed essentially, because I will take the exact caption from an Instagram post and repost that onto stories on a completely different day. I'll take the text, throw that up on my stories and it looks like a completely brand new thing, right? It's not just taking the exact same Instagram post and just reposting that two months later, for example. It's actually making sure I'm still getting a lot of value from this. I'm still resharing it in a different way. So it looks like a brand new piece of content. And then the best thing as well is it doesn't need to just be once here as well, because I can then also take this and turn this into a YouTube video, for example. I can take the same format, take the same idea, and I've done this many times, turn this into a YouTube video then so people can watch it in video format or an email as well and send that over to my list. Again, keeping the exact same copy and this is what saves you so much time. You're not coming up with a new idea. You're not writing many new words. All I'm really doing is changing the start and the end where I need to specifically just to make it fit with that format. This helps to really just amplify the impact and reach of your content essentially of when you write one piece of content we're not stopping the reach of it can only reach this many people because it's just being posted to instagram where it's got a 24-hour life cycle for example just with one small shift we can really make sure that our content is reaching the most people possible because it's being done across all these different mediums and also we can mean it can mean that our best pieces of content can be translated across multiple platforms and can really just be utilized to allow us to you know post on two different platforms without having the workload of two different platforms as well it can make it really easy to keep up with showing up in lots of different places showing up in lots of different ways but in a really easy way as well and again keeping your messaging really streamlined at the same time so that is the content repurposing hack that will save you hours in your business allow you to show up in a crazy number of places without needing to come up with new ideas and completely you know fresh ideas fresh content for every single place that you are showing up if you found this helpful make sure you give this video a like and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the daily videos that i'm posting at the moment